Okay. Just trying to bring people up to speed. Um, there are a lot of arguments that I hear concerning the Bible that, you know, they're, they're not founded in, in truth or in logic. And a lot of atheists that, that I hear speak, they speak of things concerning the Bible that do not apply to the Bible, you know. And this is a common occurrence with, you know, a lot of religions that, that don't fully understand what the Bible is and how it is to be understood and how you are to study the Bible. You understand what I'm saying? Or, or, or the holy book, as it is called. Um, so what I'm trying to do is just get people aware of the method that you are supposed to use in order to understand the Bible, the method the, the line upon line, the precept upon precept, the two to three witnesses, you know, the, it cannot be broken, that it cannot be changed, you know, these, these sort of ideas, you know, and, and I'm hoping to clear matters up. Let me give you an example for what I'm saying. You know, a lot of atheists, they, they, uh, and even Christians, you know, it, and, and maybe I should have highlighted that as well, that you got to take God's word as it is, okay? And a lot of people, a lot of religions are created because people don't take God's word as it is. Let me give you an example. The Bible states that man was made in God's image. What is that saying exactly? If someone was, if you had a, a million dollar question and that was it, and, and you had to give the answer to that, could you get that right? Man was made in God's image. Well, what is that saying? That's saying that Adam was made in God's image. Do you get, do you see the difference? Over in the, the Gospels, they give a, a lineage of Mary's seed or, or Mary's uh, heritage. Uh, and Adam was called the son of God. In other words, Adam was made after the image of God. Adam's son was made after the image of him. You see the difference there? Adam had an entirely different resemblance than that of his son. He looked and his character traits was more like God's than was his son. You see? I'll give you another example and I know a lot of uh, a lot of people won't disagree with me on this but in light of truth and logic it makes perfect sense. It says in the Bible that uh, that the, the sons of God saw the daughters of men that they are fair. They were fair. That's over in Genesis, I think, around six or seven. And a, a lot of people equate that to mean to mean that the sons of God are the angels. And I have asked even Jehovah's Witnesses this question. I say, where in the Bible does it say that angels are the sons of God? Is there one scripture that, that clearly defines that? Even though they need to. It are, is, is there one scripture that says that the sons of God are the angels? And, and I have yet for one to find that for me. I have yet for one to show that to me. You see what I'm saying? Yet they will, you know, people believe that that's the case and what have you. But I have yet to see that. Uh, and and, uh, and it, even if you look at the context in which it, it, it uses the sons of God. Yeah. 
told you every time. Even if you use the, you look at the context, okay, you you'll find that it says that they saw the daughters of men that they were fair, and they took them wives. Now, marriage is a religious institution. At least this is what I was taught. Why would a demon or an angel who is damned to hell? I mean, I thought uh, adultery and fornication was what demons expired. I mean, inspired. Why would they turn around and take on human flesh? I mean, how could they, for one, be a human? take on human flesh you have to create that and I don't believe angels can create anything but why would they take on human flesh so they can practice holiness that makes no sense so that's what I'm saying you have to take the Bible as it is you have to take the Bible as it is to understand what it is what it says you understand what I'm saying? I'm, I'm ranting uh, for life. I'm gonna come back with something else later. Y'all will. I got I got some more stuff coming. I'm gonna have to bring this Balaam study to an end to get things going. All right, one.